ready to have fun, people. Welcome back to the show. I call our guest the foodie queen for a reason. When it comes to food, she can make it all, and she has all the tricks to get the most out of your kitchen. Give it up for my dear friend, the one and only Stephanie Hansen, everyone. Hi, guys. Our foodie queen, cookbook author, food show host. Radio host. Bingo caller. Yeah, you yeah. know. Say hi to Chicagoland. Hi, Chicago. We That's love, right. We love your popcorn. We love your Chicago beef. I'm Lou Malnati. Well, okay, there we go. I love deep dish. Well, I have I, feelings. I, I, Gino's East for me, okay, but yes. All but, right, all right. but it's funny, in Seattle, hi Seattle, you're known as the tomato lady. Yes, because. I can't wait to figure out what Chicagoans eventually start calling you. Maybe the rhubarb lady, because you guys have rhubarb right around this time of year, as do we, and I'm obsessed with rhubarb. So this there we go. This is my final rhubarb recipe on the show, though, for okay. this year. Okay, so we this are doing. This is my final harvest. We are doing, we are doing homemade ice cream. Yes. Yeah, the so, easy way. Yes, because I love homemade ice cream, and I imagine this. I had one of the fancy Cuisinarts, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I was a kid, I had one of those, like, remember the wooden barrels that yes. you packed with salt and ice? My Papa Earl had one. Yeah, yeah. and you'd plug it in, and then you're, you'd churn it by hand. That was a big deal. And then when my daughter was little, there were those very strange balls that you put the ice cream in the middle and you rolled them around the yard. I know, it was a thing. But all of the ice cream mechanisms, by far, this is the simplest. I was going to say... The last time Stephanie did this on our show, uh, it, this was a hit. Like, our social blew up. Our executive producer, Jeff, made it. So, but this is a different spin because you're using different fruits this yeah, time. Yeah, so basically the idea, I'm just going to turn my blender on. Okay. The idea is, is you're going to blend whipped cream, sweetened condensed milk, whatever fruit you like. I'm doing a strawberry rhubarb today. Okay. You put a little bit of sugar, a tiny bit of salt, I like to put lemon zest or lemon juice, vanilla. You can use whatever flavorings you want. You stir this all together, and then you put it in a loaf pan, and you freeze it. So. And the recipe, don't worry, y'all. If you're trying to rush, to, we're going to put the entire recipe on the Jason Show socials. So don't worry. We'll get that to you. It will be there. Yeah. And we will have any kind of accoutrements that you can put together with it. So in this case, I have fresh strawberries. From but your own garden? Yes. You want to though. You grow your own strawberries? Oh, no. Sorry. Did I say I grow them? <laughs> OK, but wait. I actually am growing them, but they're not done. Because I just got done out of my garden. I have a garden in Ely, Minnesota. And I do garden, and I am growing strawberries, but they're not done. So I've just been thinking about strawberries. Chicago already loves you. OK, friends, yeah. this, we want to make a soft peak. Now, oh. you're wondering what a soft peak is. What is a soft peak, It's Steph? where you can see it in the pan, or excuse me, in the bowl. Like, when you run through it, you can see it's holding together. But, but not, it's not whipped cream yet. And it's certainly not butter. Because if you keep whipping cream, you make butter. Yes. So it's, it's not, and not even a stiff peak, because that's when you make meringue. No and, uh, stiff peaks. Come no, on. no stiff <laughs> peaks. Nothing no. Stiff, please. Not on this program. Nope. No. Okay. No. All right. So we are just going to add a little bit of sugar. It's actually three tablespoons is the recipe. But like most chefs, you just do what you're doing yeah. right now. Yeah. Add a little yeah. vanilla. Again, I like to add a little pinch of salt because anytime you're cooking with something sweet, a little salt brings out flavoring. There's your favorite, my favorite item. My favorite kitchen tool. Those of you in Chicago land will learn to see me with my favorite kitchen tool. The lemon zester is the zester of life. We're going to do a quick little zhuzh, and then I'm going to show you how to finish the recipe. That, sm that smells really good. Yeah, it's the lemon. And again, our staff tried this. You did it. Executive producer Jeff did it. Loved it. It was a big hit. I think he took it to an event or something. Yeah, you can do it with, like, he put... Um, he oh, I'm put, sorry. He just said he ate it all himself. Oh. So, yeah, uh, he didn't take it with, he didn't share it with anyone. It's I, like Kendall with a thing of pre, uh, Pringles. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He did it with crushed up golden Oreos and raspberry jam, which is great. I'm just folding in some sweetened condensed milk. Okay. And when you're folding, you don't want to overmix it because you want to keep the peaks in the whipped cream because you've beaten all this air in there. And you can do that easy. I've, I've learned making ice it with a cake batter when you're at it because you're adding air. And if you're too, if you're too aggressive, it beats the air right out of it. No aggressive beating. 
You want to be gentle. You want Never to on the show. Yeah, fold. Okay, so we have folded in our ingredients. Okay. And basically, I just made uh, macerated strawberries, sugar, and rhubarb. That's what that means? Yeah. Okay. You just cook it till they release their juice and they're blended down. Okay. And then I put some whole strawberries in there, and really, that's it. That's, that's it? all you do. And then you pour it into a loaf pan. The reason you use a loaf pan I was is just going to ask. You want something that gives you some volume so that you can scoop, but also that will be quick to freeze. And a metal loaf pan is <laughs> ideal. The audience is ooing your know, loaf pan. I know. It's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I made a little kind of strawberry situation dessert for you. Okay. Thank you. Because I like you so much. I, lo I love you. I don't just like you. I love you. I love you too. Now okay. you can use, I've used raspberry, goat cheese, and lemon. You can use, you can pour in um, animal crackers as producer Jeff was saying. You can do chocolate if you want. Just put some chocolate sauce. It's just super easy. It's fun to do with kids. It's summertime, so any fruit that you have laying around that's getting a little long in the tooth, just add some sugar to it. <laughs> let it get juicy. I love that when you said long in the tooth, Leo took a shot of me. <laughs> Speaking of long in the tooth, um, it's very delicious. I loved it the first time, and I love this combo. I know, and it's this so is easy. so good. It's smooth ice cream. And everybody's coming over for summer, for Father's Day, for picnics, for family reunions. It's real easy. It just takes like 20 minutes. To yeah. Get, I drove here and it's still hard in here. I got the edges going. But it's just a really easy recipe. I like doing it with kids because yeah. they can throw sprinkles in there. They can throw gummy bears. They can really make it their own. And it's easy. Yeah. And super tasty. Do me a favor. We got to go to commercial. Okay. Will you hide that from Kendall? Just go ahead and make some No, I made food for Kendall. I never hide food from a pregnant lady. <laughs> That's the only time we get to eat without shame, would you? Knock it off. <laughs> Kendall, this is for you. <laughs> oh, good Lord, here yeah. she comes. I know, I love her. We'll be back. More with Stephanie. She's answering your questions when we return. Back in a moment. Welcome back. You know, here's the deal. You know, we don't do, we're not really a lifestyle show. We're more comedy, more like a late night show in daytime. But we always make an exception for this one right here. Uh, she's the best. She's one of my favorite uh, foodie people Aww. because she's not highbrow. She doesn't talk above the audience. She talks right to Hello. you uh, and she helps you out. <laughs> so we like to hand her over to you uh, when Steph's on the show to answer your questions. We always love having Stephanie react to your food questions. It's time again for Ask Stephanie, everyone. So the first comment. The first comment comes from Jane. Hi, Jane. She says, hey, Stephanie, I, wanna, I want to give a big thank you to Stephanie and her strawberry lemonade segment last week on The Jason Show. My husband and I made her lemonade on Sunday. We added rum to ours, and let me tell you, we had a very fun yeah. afternoon. That's right. Again. Jane! Oh, I love it. Not, not, not really a question, just a fun <laughs> statement. That's hey, right. I like fun afternoons on Sunday with rum and strawberry lemonade. I mean, what's wrong with that? <laughs> you can find that recipe on stephaniesdish.com and there's mocktails and a few cocktails. That's right. Yeah. I've been with Steph on a few of her fun Sundays. <laughs> That's right, yeah. You have. I have. Next up is Tomas. Hi, Tomas. He asks, I really want to use my brand new Instant Pot, but I'm worried about an explosion. <laughs> Are my feelings valid? Basically, Tomas, Tomas needs a therapist. He has uh, yeah. feelings. I love food feelings. I'm here for your food feelings, but no, your Instant Pot is not going to explode. There is a safety valve built in. It's not like your grandma's old slow cooker that you'd hear the stories about how they would go pew on the stove. No, it's not going to happen. You'll get an error message and it will turn itself off. Yeah. So use your Instant Pot with comfort and with joy. I have a whole thing. Yeah. Tell, tell. I have a whole thing on my website that talks about 10 things to do when you get your Instant Pot. Five minute Instant Pot rice. We have an Instant Pot group called the Weekly Dish Instant Potters. Yes. And Chicago, sign up for that. That's yeah. on Facebook. And that is like a community group of 12,000 people that give you their tips, their tricks, their recipes. It's a pretty 
pretty great group. That's Weekly Dish Instant Potters. That's right, Winkly, Weekly Dish Instant Potters. Winkly Dish is Winkly, fun though too. That's, that's <laughs> Stephanie's After Hours Club. Yeah. Speaking of after hours, Blanche, remember her from the Golden Girls? I really love my slow cooker, Steph, but it's always a pain to clean because the food gets caked on the side. You got any tips? On cleaning slow cookers? No, like, come on, Blanche. We'll be right Let's back. Get a little ivory soap. I just said you were the scrub. expert. Well, I mean, it's cleaning. My mother, my mother. Now, can I can I use a suggestion from the dar yes, for my mother? Yes, for your ceramic. Oh. I feel bad about the plastic in those. I do. Sorry. You're okay. eating it up. Okay. Yeah, either like, get no, no. You either get a dolphin or a clean <laughs> crock pot. I mean, it's either I just don't feel good about that like cooking your food and making it hot in that plastic. I mean, I don't know. Sorry, Reynolds or whoever makes them. Just Great. We just lost a the sponsor. Thanks, stuff. Yeah. You know what cleans everything though? What? Vinegar and water. Vinegar and water Vinegar does. Vinegar and water, baking soda reacts if you need a little more zhuzh, 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 and then you just wipe it out. Done. <laughs> Next up is Pat. Hey, Steph, my partner and I get along really well, but we differ on one big thing, how much salt to put uh, in the pot when cooking noodles. I just do a splash. They put in much more. Who is right? I don't put salt in noodles. Whoa! I think it's like a weird chefy thing. I don't think it makes them taste any better. It doesn't make them cook any faster. So please your partner, Pat, and just do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're, oh, it's a salt fight. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, and also, like. Now, now we got a vacuum. I mean, now we got a. I'll have to vacuum. No, let's just get back to food feelings for a second. When you're having that kind of like conversation over food in your relationship, you just, you acquiesce. You just do it. You know what I said? Do you says. really want to die on that mountain? Yeah. That's or right. Or you wait till they leave the room and you do what you want anyway. That's what I do. <laughs> That's what I do. If let I'm me cooking, tell you. I'm in charge. Give it up for Stephanie Hansen, everybody. For more information, go to stephaniesdish.com. You can also find all of our segments on the Jason Show. Thank you. Uh, the Jason Show YouTube uh, page. Just search for the Jason Show and hit subscribe. Stephanie also has a great uh, food show called The Weekly Dish. Search for it wherever you get your podcasts. We'll be right back. Back in a moment. Ha <laughs> ha!